Hello. G.1.D point point is understand and use angles. And so there's many different things that we did in this section. We estimated, we constructed, we measured, and we named some angles. Now we can't use a protractor on here, and so um, if you have troubles using a protractor, you're just going to have to come in and get help on that. Um, so our first one is we want to estimate this angle. So first we want to see, is it acute or is it obtuse? And I see that it is acute. So then I'm going to, well that's a little thick. So, I want to draw a right angle to kind of see where we're starting here. So that's a, close to a right angle, maybe not quite, maybe it's a little... So, so you might have to do that a few times, it's not always perfect. If you look that, it looks like a little bit more than half. Well, half of 90 is 45. So it looks like maybe 55, I'm going to say. Okay, it's not much over half, but it's a little bit over half. Maybe 10 degrees, maybe 50 degrees, 50, 55 is how I would estimate it. All right, this next one, we need to estimate this one. I want you to push pause and see if you can write down an, a measurement and see if it's the same. All right, so... You have an answer down. I am going to draw 90 and 180. So I see that it's about half, maybe a little bit more than half. So half would be, so this is, would be 90. And that would be, if half would be 45, so it would be 135. Well, I know it's a little bit more than 135. So maybe 140, 145. I'm going to say 145. So if you were close to that, nice job. If you weren't, we got to just keep practicing what our different angles are. All right, name. We're going to talk about naming now. So name the highlighted angle. So remember, connect the dots. So we always want our vertex in the middle. So our vertex in this case would be E. So it could, we could name it angle A E D, or you could name it angle D E A. We start at one point, we trace it, go to the next one, or we could start at A, go to E, and end at D. So that's how we name angles. Another way is we want to name, it said naming the right angle. So, first we have to figure out what is our vertex. Our vertex, in this case, is N, so N will always be in the middle. And there's two ways we can name it. So first we have to figure out where is this right angle. Well, it is right here. So we want to highlight it. And then angle, now N is going to be in the middle, so we're either going to start at I, so it'd be I, N, K, or we start at angle K, N, I. So either one works. Remember, it's connect the dots. We start at I, go to N, go to K. And that is the angle we want, or we start at K and go to N and end at I. So that's a little overview of what goes into this standard. If you need help on the protractor, you got to come in and get some help in class.